This is the Empress FX Echo System, dual engine delay. And we're going to take a look at the dual delay function of this pedal. Uh, it offers 12 different effect types. And besides having just one delay type, uh, like a standard delay, we can do two individual delays. And we have a few different options of how we can uh, have these two delays. What we can do is have them um, with this little engine switch, we can have a dual parallel. Uh, it splits the guitar signal and we have two kind of independent delays. We can have tape, we can have any uh, type of delay sound uh, running together. And each delay is not interfering with the other delay. And then what we could do is go into dual serial, which goes into one delay. Then that delay sound goes into the other delay sound. So uh, we can also switch between the different um, uh, orders of the delay uh, um, sounds. And uh, then we have a left and right, which uh, I'm running stereo. So it separates the delays into the left amp and the right amp and uh, they don't ever get intermixed and we can create a really beautiful spacious sound like I was uh, doing in the beginning. Uh, I have a tape delay on the right and I have a digital delay on the left uh, running different delay times. Uh, so let's dive into it. Uh, what uh, we have here is if we go in dual parallel, so we have two delays running at once and uh, when you can, see the brighter LED that's our um, setting currently that we can manipulate that's the first delay uh, then when we tap the switch here that's mode uh, we go to the second LED which is brighter now and we can select our different um, uh, delay sound for the second delay so we have let's say digital and we could do analog so when we switch between these, we can control the digital, we can tap in uh, the tempo, and then we hit this button again and we go to the second delay, which is analog. We can also tap that in. Uh, the tap is uh, blinking red. That means um, it works off of this tap switch. When we hit shift and uh, green, this means the delay time will be going off of this knob. And then when we hit shift tap again and we go to the blue, dot uh, LED uh, that means we have a global tap so whatever we tap in it's going to be set for the whole um, delay uh, uh, both engines I believe and then uh, so I like to do it on red that way I can go between the two delays and tap in different times for them um, and then also we can solo each delay sound so to kind of um, easily dial in uh, the delay sound that we want. So let's say if I want to hear the digital by itself, I just hit switch and mode. Okay, now what we're done with setting that up, here's the two delays together. Okay, let's hit this mode, go to analog. Let's control that um, mix. We have the tone, and these can be set individually. All right, let's solo the analog, uh, shift and mode. All right, sounds good. Now let's hit the mode again to hear both delays. All right, now this is dual parallel. Let's go to dual serial. So the uh, brighter LED is going into the dimmer LED. 
and uh, let's check that out. We can switch um, each side by hitting uh, shift and then engines. Okay, and let's have the first delay go into the second delay. And we can switch the order again by hitting shift and engines. Go to the left and right. Set the second delay um, to something different. And then we can hold the tap switch to get kind of oscillation on any of the delay sounds. So whichever brighter LED is set, uh, that will uh, linger that delay sound. Mm -hmm. 